the most authoritative person saying the most authoritative content on the most authoritative property. And that's how you get leverage. Instead of making things from scratch every time, when you find one of these things, when you put out something that's amazing, and then on Twitter, someone says, wow, this is so good, then you say, wow, can I think, um, thank you, can I quote you on that? And you wanna continue that conversation because you're gonna continue to place that inside your library. Okay, there's no PowerPoint presentation, so anything here that you find that's interesting, you're going to have to either write down or, or take a picture on your phone. I would recommend taking pictures on your phone. All right, we do have some guides that we've printed out, and you'll see that there's various screenshots of these. There's the, the one pager that we'll show you. There's all these different things, like this is the main one that we printed out for you, but we're going to go real fast. We're going to cover three days worth of content in one hour. All right? This is Jason Miller. We were with him yesterday in London, and he runs global content marketing for LinkedIn. And we know that the power of influencer marketing or word of mouth or lead gen or inbound marketing or growth hacking is you leverage the power of whoever has the most authority. So if I said, hey, these are Dennis's 10 tips on how do you do LinkedIn marketing, who cares? But what has the most power is if you've got the most authoritative person saying the most authoritative content on the most authoritative property. So we made a course together with Jason on how do you do LinkedIn marketing. And we started by being on LinkedIn's podcast, the Sophisticated Marketers podcast with me and Logan. And this got such good feedback. And then of course, when other people are introducing you, when other people are talking about you, they're saying very positive things. When you take these positive mentions and you put them into your content library, then you're able to build up power over time and you're able to boost them. So today we're gonna to talk about how do you build this content library of all of the different endorsements, of all the articles that you're producing, of all of the mentions that you have, that you boost from your public figure page for $1 a day, ideally using one minute videos. Okay, we're gonna tie all of those items together when you take people that are famous, let's say this is Josh Fector. We made a course with him on growth hacking. You're gonna see this in a couple months. And this is, remember, the power comes from other people's words, not what you have to say. Who gives a shit about what you have to say? Spent yesterday with the Facebook king, Dennis Yu, and his right-hand man, Logan Young, had a blast talking about Facebook marketing, the future of advertising, lots of likes, comments, and shares. Take this, and then you share this from your public figure page. The key is you're sharing what someone else says about you. But the Inception, you guys know the mu movie Inception? The dream inside the dream, inside the dream. And the whole idea of playing chess where you're, you're playing seven, eight, nine moves ahead. You're already implanting the ideas inside this guy's head. So you're five or six steps ahead. And we knew this because you have to play several years in advance. So these are our conversations with Josh Fector. You guys know Josh Fector, right? And we've spoken at the events, we've interviewed him, we've made series of videos, we have a process for how we produce these videos, so here it is, here's one of the videos. Here he's talking about a story on how do you become an expert? How do you make your first million dollars? How do you overcome, you know, not have any money? How do you do whatever it is? And when you interview these other experts, and then you put them on their public figure pages, or on your public figure page, not just your business page, but your public figure page, not your user profile, your public figure page, and you boost these videos, that's how you generate custom audiences. That's how you're able to build remarketing audiences at scale. So it's not just trying to collect someone's email off of a lead magnet. That's something you actually do much later because inception occurs before they ever realize that they've already been incepted. A great magician has already performed the trick before you even realized he's done it. So when you put together tons and tons of this material and you're able to boost it, then you're able to pull off things like this and you start to get momentum very easily. You guys have heard about contributors. Here's one on entrepreneur. 10 personal branding experts to follow this year. Blah, 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 blah. People think Forbes, entrepreneur, CNN, Wall Street Journal, they, you know, they say, oh wow, this is really impressive, right? Or maybe they go to some other place, maybe, you know, here's influencive, or there's, you know, growth, all the different, whatever your niche is, you don't have to do this on growth hacking sites. You don't have to do this on VC sites. If you've raised an A round, maybe you need to do that to impress the people that gave you some money to show you're not wasting it. 
But there's certain verticals that you want to be able to dominate. And when you are able to put things like this, so this is the number two or three article on Influensive against all these other guys that are high profile, 7,600 shares. But the way we, and this is an article I wrote, but the way you get this perceived influence is you take these posts and you boost it. When you see these share bars, these counts you can influence by boosting posts. And then when you have articles like this that are out, let's say for example that we want to sell software to small businesses to automate marketing automation. Maybe we want to do something with Guy of Autopilot, right? Because Guy was smart and he, he hired Josh to work on these things. Or may, let's, yeah, let's say we're Autopilot and we want to get lots of people using our software and maybe Infusionsoft is, let's say, a competitor. Maybe HubSpot, Marketo, competitors. Maybe, maybe not, too expensive, right? And then we write an article, as I did here. Everything we're showing you here is by direct example. And we've done these things hundreds of times. This is not a fluke, right? So you write these articles and you actually share what you're doing. You share what's working. When you do this, you take this post and then you boost it from your business page or public figure page to the audience that you want to incept. You are sharing someone else's content. Well, it's your content. It's on someone else's site, okay? This is how you generate. And then, of course, you have links in here to all the other articles that you've written. Here's another one. How do you boost posts? Now, this is on Digital Marketer. This is where you create real power because you're constantly linking from authority to authority. And almost never does it go to your site until you're ready to sell something or you're collecting an email or you want to do a certain kind of remarketing sequence. But to get power off of these, you've got to be able to amplify and build. And a lot of people think it's just advertising and they're so busy building content, they don't know how to amplify off of this. So we use plugins like CrowdTangle, which is free. You guys heard of CrowdTangle, right? And this shows us where the top shares are occurring. Mari Smith and Fusionsoft themselves, of course, this is the size of their fan base. And then these are links to where people are sharing that kind of content. When people are sharing this content, look, so this one got 33 likes, 14 shares, right? Then you have to reply to them saying, oh, thank you very much, this is great. And you wanna continue that conversation because you're gonna continue to place that inside your library of all the people that are saying positive things about you and about your content. And that's how you get leverage. Instead of making things from scratch every time, when you find one of these things, when you put out something that's amazing, and then on Twitter, someone says, wow, this is so good. Then you say, wow, can I think, um, thank you. Can I quote you on that? Right? You're always looking, and you can have a VA, you can have a young adult, you can have software that helps you do this, collect this. And a lot of people may know that behind my Twitter and Facebook are real people that are doing this, that know where I am, that know our content, that know what we're up to, and thus they're constantly monitoring this, right? So here, Growth Tribe, three minutes ago, and if they say something positive, then we'll say, Wow, thank you so much. Here's another one, why I'm not an influencer, right? So here's, there's all of these articles. And you, when you want to win in a market, you have to do the exact opposite of what people would expect, right? If you're overt and you say, oh, come buy my stuff, we have the best software that does a certain thing, then you've ruined it because you're so direct. You're, you're like that person where, you know, who, who interrupts and is that rude person always trying to sell, right? You don't want to be that person. You want to incept through other people's words on other people's sites where you have the highest authority that you boost because no one would think that you would pay money to boost someone else's website. That's just not what people think. And Facebook is the easiest way to trick people on this. Look at this, why I am not an influencer. Well, I, other people call me once, so I go the opposite. I say, I'm not an influencer. And then I go ahead and I show all the things that I've done and all the places that I've been. And then, of course, I turn it around by saying, this is what it actually means, and I quote other people. When you quote other people and you make them look good, you're actually building your influence because you, you are acting like an, a, a, a journalist, right? You're building the highest authority because you're not talking about yourself. You always have other people talk about yourself. So when you see who are the top 10 personal branding experts, number one, Leonard Kim. Well, let's go look for Leonard Kim. We have admin, right? Here's his public figure page. Guess what? We're boosting articles from him. He's boosting articles from us. We are all circular, cross-referring each other, not for SEO reasons, but because this is where you have the highest authority. You always wanna have someone else talk about you. We run everything inside Business Manager. You should become an expert in Business Manager. 
that ties together ads, apps, all of these things. So when Leonard says something amazing, 25 marketing influencers, right, we're gonna boost that. He writes an article about something that mentions us, we're going to boost that. I will write articles in his name that talk about us and boost that, but we're writing as if Leonard was, so you actually, you have to really, you get confused sometimes, because like, oh yeah, I'm writing, I'm writing an article from his voice, but I'm really writing about myself. So I'm talking about myself in the third person. Oh, well Dennis Yu, when he first did this, this happened and then this other thing happened, right? And, and then you, you, you gotta, you've got to be able to maintain this. And if you're doing this across multiple pages, think about what that looks like, right? So we'll go to Mark Lack. Mark Lack is the Tony Robbins, the young Tony Robbins, right? Here he is, he's famous. We have this inside business manager, sometimes multiple business managers. And he's so good at interviewing people, interviewing you know, Tony Robbins and Damon John and Richard Branson and all these sorts of people, right? He's very good. I don't know anybody that can talk as well as this guy. He should probably be a televangelist. And here he's interviewing Ty Lopez. You heard of Ty Lopez? Yeah? 145,000 views off of 177 reach. That's what, 85%? You guys do the math. Really high, right? This is more than a one minute video, it's a seven minute video. Let's look at some of the stats. This has generated tons and tons of influence for him. You wanna pin your top video, by the way. Average watch time, 55 seconds. The average on Facebook is six seconds. The average view through rate is 30%. So here, this is not a PowerPoint, we're live, okay? Something bad could happen, I'll, messages will pop up. 177,000 reach and we got 145,000 to stay and become a video view. The average is 30%, we're more than double. When you have signals like this, when your engagement rate is really high, 16,000 post clicks off of 145, this is north of 10%. We're looking for 10% engagement rate on our posts. When these things are hot, then we're going to boost them for a dollar a day. That's how we produce power.